Hi guys, it's Reactions here, and welcome to my first ever tutorial, what I am going to be uploading onto my channel. Um, basically, I'm going to be showing you how to do a live commentary, preferably how to actually sync the voice to the gameplay, because uh, I've seen a lot of videos, especially of Call of Duty, where they've been doing live commentaries, and then they've got killed, and then a few seconds later, they've actually done the reaction that they've been killed, or um, sometimes they do the reaction... Um, earlier than they actually die so I'm gonna show you how to get it perfect so then it's like real time so then you get killed and then you do the reaction that you have got killed the, at the same time as you would in real life so and um, this is my first tutorial so please any constructive criticism is always welcomed but please do not put in a hate comments because you will get blocked so let's get started firstly you need to open your um, program what you're going to be recording the actual gameplay from your Xbox play or PlayStation. So just open that, minimize it. It doesn't matter what program you use. Um, and then open the program what you're going to be using for your actual commentary to talk. So make sure your microphone is um, chosen. For me, it is the blue snowball. If you can't see your microphone there, just go to the control panel. Go to hardware and sound, go to sound uh, recording, and then make sure that is on the um, properties. No, that's not it. Well, make sure that is the default device. Uh, I forgot how you actually get it default, but well, you get the idea. I think it's because mine's already set as the default so I can't choose it as default again. Or if after that and it is the default and you still can't see it, just unplug your microphone and plug it back in and then it should be on because I've had that problem sometimes. So let's um, get started. So you press record and then wait for it to actually record. You don't touch your actual commentary um, software yet and then you wait for this to get to 10 seconds. So seven, eight, nine, ten, and then as soon as it hits ten, you click it, and then just to sync things up, you don't need to do this, but I'm just showing you that it is actually spot on in the um, it is spot on sync wise. So you don't need to do this when you do commentary. As soon as you start the audacity um, commentary, then you just say hi guys, and then you do your introduction. But I'm just um doing this little part just to show you so I'm pressing A in one two three go and then I'm pressing A in one two three go now you stop the recording in that and stop it in that um, now that is saved into whatever file you chose before um, I don't know how the different programs work, but if you've already been recording stuff in the program, then you should be able to find out how you save it. And then in Audacity, if it is your first time using Audacity, then instead of hitting Save Project, you go into Export, because if you just save it, it saves into the wrong format. So let's just put Test there, and then Save it, click OK, and then you can exit out of that. Save changes before closing. No, because you've exported it to whatever chosen. So you can export it to the desktop, or I've chosen a file called Commentaries. So now you open Sony Vegas Pro or any other editing software what you um, do actually use. So I'll wait for it to open now. And um, just click there. Um, you, if you don't use a watermark, then you don't need to do that. But go into Commentaries. And then open test and then click open again go into gameplays and then whatever file you chose it in so I'm doing pl um, a playthrough of Sniper Elite at the minute so that's just my default um, folder for the um, recording software so you open your gameplay and then I'll open my intro as well because this is how I do it for all of my playthroughs and my live commentaries. So if you've not got an intro or watermark then you don't need to do this bit but just drag your intro there and then um, you drag your gameplay right to the end there and then you click this little bar in the bottom 
and then drag it in using your scroll bar on your mouse and then just click on to the 10 second mark because I waited sorry about that guys my dad just walked upstairs so I needed to just stop the recording just so I didn't make a noise so as I was saying you choose 10 seconds on the bar so it says 10 seconds there because you waited 10 seconds before starting the commentary so you had started the actual gameplay recording and then you waited 10 seconds and then you started the commentary so you click on the 10 second mark you press S on the keyboard right you press S on the keyboard and then it splits it and then you just right click delete that and then you drag it up to your intro or if you haven't got an intro then you just drag it right to the start but I've got an intro so I just click it there and then you can zoom back out and then just go down a bit and then you put your commentary there don't worry that it's not the same length because I stopped the commentary before I stopped the gameplay so if you want you can just drag that there and now um, you've just got to do the levels of the volume so for the commentary which is at the bottom I choose um, the f maximum that it goes as and then for the gameplay I normally do playthroughs so you need it a bit loud but not too loud so it go goes higher than your voice so I normally choose 7.9 that is a good volume and then you just do the final touches to your um, gameplay so I've got a preset here but to crop it to get these lines out if you use an HDPVR then you just click this little symbol and then you drag that just a tiny little bit so then the bars have gone and then you just name it whatever you want I named mine HDPVR and then you click save button but I'm not gonna click it because I've already saved it and then you right click onto the video part click on properties and then disable resample that basically gets all the blur out gives you a nice crisp um, picture and then just to put your watermark in you just basically put it up to your intro and yet again if you haven't got an intro then you just move it straight to the start and then you just drag it to the length of your video and now let's just watch it and then as soon as it hits 10 you click it and then just to sync things up you don't need to do this but I'm just showing you that it is actually spot on in the um, it is spot on sync wise so you don't need to do this when you do it commentary as soon as you start the audacity um, commentary then you just say hi guys and then you do your introduction but I'm just um, doing this little part just to show you so I'm pressing A in one two three go and then I'm pressing A in one two three go now you stop the Right guys, you've seen that it was just a tiny little bit out, but you can't cannot really tell when you're actually doing a gameplay. You only can tell by because you heard the um, tray on my Xbox coming out. That's the only way you could tell that it was out of sync. So basically, that's everything what you need to do, and then you just click um, render as. It's taking a bit too long, and then you just name it whatever. So I'll just put tester. And then you just wait for it to render but I don't need to do that because I've just shown you how to do it so basically that's how you get it into perfect sync um, if you feel that I've left anything out or if you feel that I didn't do the tutorial as good as you hoped please don't put any comments like saying I'm a douchebag and I'm a crap commentator and so on just um, give me some constructive criticism just so I can work on it try to improve and then if you want more tutorials please put it in the comments and also put what you need help on and if I know how to do it I will be sure to make a tutorial for you guys so that's it guys hope you enjoyed please hit the like button and if you want to subscribe but um, please look at my other videos because if you subscribe for a tutorial I'm not always gonna be doing a tutorial I'm just gonna be doing them when I feel like I need to help you out and that but for the most part, I do playthroughs, so if you like watching playthroughs, 
please subscribe, really appreciate it, and I will see you in the next video. Hope I helped, peace.